Hi, I'm Liam McIntyre. You're watching Mike Fallon's Citizen Cinema. Check it out. Hey, it's your boy Mike Fallon with another episode of Sister Cinema. I'm with the one only Liam McIntyre. Uh, you guys might recognize him from uh, uh, CW's The Flash, and also he's a creator of his own uh, board game called Monster Lab. That's right. Can you do a quick breakdown of what, what your game is about? Yeah, basically, like Monster Lab is this fun little game where you play a mad scientist trying to build uh, crazy monsters to def take over the world and defeat your enemies. It's, uh, it's fun. You, you take parts and splice them together to make crazy monsters and fight them and all that sort of stuff. It's good. Dang. Man. So, like, what, what inspired you for the uh, for the for the game? What's that? Like, what inspired you to make the game? Uh, ba <laughs> basically, I just uh, like I've always wanted to make card games, and it's it's it started off as like uh, a fighting game, and I was trying to give it some context, and I like you know like you want to give it like a horror vibe, so I was like, well, you know, they got that Doctor Frankenstein feel, so. Yeah, like what, what kind of thing do you, I like the idea of, um, I guess I was kind of inspired by um, Cards Against Humanity, the way that you can put like different cards together and they make funny little stories. So if you can put different parts together and they can make funny different monsters and then kind of built this game around like crazy wild different things that you can sort of fit together to look insane and ridiculous and you know then yeah there was opportunities to make like naughty decks and things like that which are pretty messed up and it's obviously very different because yeah. it's, it's about being a mad scientist taking yeah. over the world but it's like yeah in the way that you can make these every game is different every every creature you make is going to be different and wild and yeah. wacky and crazy it's yeah it's, it's, it's always unique so it's great for world building basically yeah it's yeah it's, it's something it's something you can play with friends play with a party have a laugh and then have a good time that's that's great man yeah. and then speaking of man so what's it been like since, since you've been the weather wizard on the flash that's awesome man the way like being a bad guy is a lot of fun uh, don't recommend it in real life but it's a yeah it's a, it's, it's a it's a pretty good time like, like special effects you get to wield like you know uh, lightning storms and yeah. things like that I mean, and, and the gang over at the the CW's Flash, like the, the coolest crew ever. They're just just great people to be around. So that's nice. So uh, just one last quick question. So what did you do to uh, get ready for that role? Like, what did you get that mindset for that character? Well, it's interesting. I mean, like the the thing I always tell people is that um, Spartacus and the Weather Wizard aren't that different, except that they're one's a hero, one's a villain, because each one lost a really important family member and kind of wants revenge. And so in a way, Spartacus, like, he's he's the hero. He's the he's the good guy, but the Weather Wizard gets a bad rap. So for me, it's like about finding the hero in that guy, you know, finding why, yeah, I know he does horrible things, I know he's a bad guy, but trying to, as the character, trying to find a way to make him like, no, I, I should be doing this. This is the right thing to do. This is the right way to approach this. So it makes him messed up, but it's, it was an interesting way to look at the character. For sure, man. And thank you for taking your time out yeah, to have yeah, interviews with us, bro. It was definitely, I want to give a quick shout out to My Geek Review. Uh, we always collaborate on YouTube. And where can people find you online, bro? You can find me on uh, Twitter at Liam underscore J underscore McIntyre. You can check my card game out at monsterlabcardgame.com. And it's probably the best ways to find it. All right, most definitely. This is your boy Mike Fallon with another episode of Citizen Cinema.